Hello world. Hello world. Welcome back to my channel. Call me Biz. Look, it's early in the morning. Uh, it's the best time for some Norm McDonald. All right. Look, this is Norm McDonald's story about a life-saving pig. <laughs> okay. Look, if you enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button. Uh, like the video. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know you were here. All right. No more ghost watching in 2024. And yeah, I've been doing so dope, so good with it, man. I appreciate you. I, I truly do. If you ain't got nothing to say, just be like, I was here. That's love. That that's that's love. Let's go ahead and watch. La la, we're back. I'm here with Norm McDonald. And you often speak of your native Canada. Cold yeah, in. I love Canada. You mention it a lot. Yeah, people love people. A couple of people. <laughs> <laughs> Three to be exact. Yeah, they like it. That's important. Uh, where are you from? Are you from a big city? Uh, where are you no, from? I'm from a little town. It's called Monkland, and uh, it's only 108 people. 108? That's, in, that's, yeah, that's small. Yeah, it's country, you know? It's really mm -hmm. rural. Mm -hmm. And uh, But man, I'll tell you, there's lots of funny stories from there. <laughs> well, I'm sorry we don't have time. Thank you very much for coming, Norm. It was good having you here. It was Norm McDonald. Good night, everybody. Because farm really, people, you there know? are funny stories from this town. Yeah, because farm people, they all seem to be, you know, they all seem to be a funny story. I remember one time. <laughs> there better be, Norm. <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy, man, he lived down the road. Uh -huh. his, name was, uh, his name was John Neil Mergerison. And this guy, I went to, to him once. I've been away for a couple of years, you know. I moved to the city, you know, and I, I came back. And I said, John Neil, how you doing? You know, I went to his, his what do you got, farm? And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that and, uh, thing, yeah. So he's yeah. showing me his pigs. He had a bunch of pigs there, you know? He had a bunch of pigs, a, a bunch of them. And one of the pigs <laughs> had, one of the pigs had a wooden leg, you know? What? Oh, yeah, a wooden <laughs> leg. So I thought that was odd, you know? So I says to him, I says, John Neal, that's odd there. What's that pig? What's the story with that pig? So John Neal, he goes, oh, man, Norm. He says, that's a special pig. He goes, you wouldn't believe that pig. I go, yeah? Well, why, well tell me about it. He goes, that pig, you wouldn't believe it. He says, last last winter, you know, he goes, um, the house burned down. You know, you probably heard, the house burned down. And uh, he says, me and a wife, we were sleeping on our bed. And he says, we never would have heard. We never would have heard. We never would have woken up. But he goes, that pig, he broke out of his pen. He ran all the way to the house. And he went up to the bedroom window, you know. And he says, he starts hitting his little snout on a, on a, on a window, you know. Uh -huh. And he says, me and a wife, we woke up. And we got out, man, just in time. We escaped that inferno. He didn't use the word inferno. He's just a farmer. <laughs> but, you threw that in there. Yeah, he says, Good. we escaped that conflagration, you know? <laughs> so so I, I go, man, that's, quite a, that's a, quite a story about the pig. He goes, oh, man, it doesn't stop there. I go, really? And he goes, yeah. And he goes, he goes, just later after that, like the following summer, we were, me and a wife were plowing in North 40, and, and, and our little boy, only two years old, man, fell into the well and uh, all alone you know and and we did we no way we could do anything we were plowing and uh <laughs> he says we didn't hear you know and he says uh, uh man and, and you know and uh, you know we're getting older we're probably not going to have another kid you know that kid means everything to us i go i know john neal i know that <laughs> you don't have to tell me that uh -huh. so he said i said what happens he goes that's their very same pig he says he heard the child's wailing Plaintiff cry. He didn't say plaintiff, you know, he's a farmer. <laughs> but he says he heard, he heard a child. Cry. He broke out of his pen. He ran all the way to the well. He looked down. There was the poor son of ours there, uh, Billy, you know, down at the bottom of the well. <laughs> he says the pig, he took his snout there. He started pulling up on a, on a rope. And he got, the kid got right out, you know. And he, he <laughs> and if it, man, that's great, isn't it? And I go, <laughs> I go, man, that's the greatest story I ever heard. Man, oh, what a pig. I said, what a pig that is. I said, one question, though, John Neal. I said, he got a wooden leg. I don't understand that part. He got, pig, pig got a wooden leg over there. John Neal goes, man, he goes, what are you crazy? He says, he says, a great pig like that, you can't eat him all at once. You know, he says, <laughs> I can never forgive you. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's talk about Let's mention this. Starting out live this week's with Phil Hartman. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. Jim Blossom's on that show. That's yeah, a great show. I don't know who they are, but Phil Hartman is great. <laughs> <laughs> Norm McDonald, everybody. Richard E. Grant, Goldust are coming up. We'll be right back. 
Y'all want to hear something funny? The other day, I'm like, you know what I was saying in my head? Maybe I should, <laughs> maybe I should memorize some of these jokes <laughs> so, so I could, so I could tell them. You know, but I would have to add, add my own style to it. You know, you see how he takes you all around showing you how dope this pig is just to be like, you can't eat it. You can't eat it all at once. The crazy part is, yo, you still gonna eat the pig though. That That's that's hilarious. But um, you see how, how, how he's like, you know, uh, kind of like stumbling on the joke and, 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 and he's just excited to get to the end. I want to have that type of, excite, of excitement. Of course, I ain't going to tell you at no comedy club or no show, you know, but it'll be, it'll be dope to just sit around the table and tell that joke just because I could imagine the look on, my, <laughs> on everyone's face when they're just like, okay, okay. Cause he just does this. He just does it so well, man. Um, shout out to Norm, man. Like I said, every morning it's dope to um start your day off with some laughs. Uh, yeah, good times, good times, man. Good times. You should be laughing. Good time. I, I'm pretty sure I just whistled. Did y'all hear that? Good times. <sighs> Conan is funny too in, in his own right. Uh, he's one late night guy. I don't mind watching. But way back in the days when, when we didn't have no cable or nothing, Jay Leno used to always come on. Now, I can't remember none of that shit, but like I remember seeing Jay Leno's chin, and I used to watch Mad TV also. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next one, all right? And guess what? You better be the peace. Oh, tell me what's next from Norm in the comment section. Some of y'all said San Francisco. Um, I don't know. Uh, I already know about the main grave. <laughs> I heard, I heard about the revolution. Uh, look, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.